Hi friends, welcome back with another video and it is about Percy Bishali life and work. Percy Bishali MCQs. I hope you will like my efforts and will not forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So here is our first question. When was B.B. Shelley born? And in the options we have 19th December 1784, 31st January 1786, 4th August 1792 and 4th May 1794. And among the given options, the right one is option C, 4th August 1792. Phoebe Shelley was born on 4th August 1792 at Field Place, Broadbridge Heath, near Horsham, West Sussex, England. Question number 2. Which university expelled P.B. Shelley? And in the options we have Cambridge, Oxford, Paris, Berlin. And the right answer of this question is option B, Oxford. In the fall of 1810, Shelley entered University College, Oxford, where he enlisted his fellow student Thomas Jefferson Hogg as a disciple. But in March 1811, University College, Oxford expelled both Shelley and Hogg for refusing to admit Shelley's authorship of the necessity of atheism. Question number 3. The writing of which pamphlet essay caused B.B. Shelley's expulsion? And in the options we have Common Sense, The Necessity of Atheism, A Declaration of Rights, Pride and Prejudice. And the right answer of this question is option B. The Necessity of Atheism. The Necessity of Atheism is an essay on atheism by the English poet B.B. Shelley printed in the year 1811 by Charles and William Phillips in Worthing while Shelley was a student at University College, Oxford. Question number 4. How old was Harriet Westbrook when she eloped with P.B. Shelley? And in the options we have 14, 16, 20, 22. And the right answer of this question is option B, 16. In August 1811, at the age of 19, Shelley eloped with Harriet Westbrook, the 16-year-old daughter of Tavern Keeper. Question number 5. Who said poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world? And in the options we have Robert Browning, P.B. Shelley, William Wordsworth, John Keats and the right answer of this question is option B, P.B. Shelley. A defense of poetry is an essay by the English poet P.B. Shelley written in the year 1821 and first published posthumously in 1840 in essays, letters from abroad, translations and fragments by Edward Moxon in London. It contains Shelley's famous claim that poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. Question number 6. Our sweetest songs are those. They tell of sweetest thoughts. Is a quotation taken from Shelley's poem. And in the options we have. To a skylark. The cloud. Ode to the west wind. Adonis. And among the given options, the right one is option A, To a Skylark. To a Skylark is a poem completed by P.B. Shelley in the late June 1820 and published accompanying his lyrical drama Prometheus Unbound by Charles and James Collier in London. Question number 7. If winter comes, can a spring be so far behind? This line is taken from the poem. And in the options we have to autumn, to a skylark, the cloud, or to the west wind. And the right answer of this question is option D, or to the west wind. 
Ode to the West Wind is an ode written by P.B. Shelley in the year 1819 in Cassine Wood near Florence, Italy. It was originally published in the year 1820 by Charles in London as part of the collection Prometheus Unbound, a lyrical drama in four acts with other poems. Question number 8. P.B. Shelley wrote Adonis on the death of and in the options we have John Keats, Lord Byron, Walter Scott, Robert Saudi. And the right answer of this question is option A, John Keats. Adonis, an elegy on the death of John Keats, is a pastoral elegy written by P.B. Shelley for John Keats in the year 1821 and widely regarded as one of the Shelley's best and best known works. The poem which is in 495 lines in 55 Spenserian stanzas was composed in the spring of 1821, immediately after 11th April when Shelley heard of Keats' death. It is a pastoral elegy in the English tradition of John Milton's Lycidas. Question number 9. Shelley's Prometheus Unbound is inspired by the play Prometheus Bound by the ancient Greek playwright. And in the options we have Sophocles, Euripides, Aeschylus, Seneca. And the right answer of this question is option C, Aeschylus. Prometheus Unbound is a four-act lyrical drama by P.B. Shelley was published in the year 1820. It is concerned with the torments of the Greek mythological figure Prometheus, who defies the gods and gives fire to humanity, for which he is subjected to eternal punishment and suffering at the hands of Zeus. It is inspired by the classical Prometheia, a trilogy of plays attributed to Aeschylus. Question number 10 Shelley's defense of poetry is a rejoinder to and in the options we have Thomas Love Peacock's The Four Ages of Poetry, Byron's English Bards and Scotch Reviewers, Sydney's Apologies for Poetry, none of these. And the right answer of this question is option A, Thomas Love Peacock's The Four Ages of Poetry. A defense of poetry is an essay by P.B. Shelley, written in 1821 and first published posthumously in the year 1840. Shelley was highly provoked by a friend, Thomas Peacock, who criticized the modern poetry and prompted Shelley to write his zealous defense where he questions whether a poet is a philosopher or a rational thinker. He also states that poetry's main focus is to reveal the exquisiteness of the world, that is, deceptively concealed in our busy world of ambiguity and darkness. So that's all for today. Till next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.